So today at People's Voice Media we're going to look at the Kodak ZI8 digital video camera. Kodak digital video camera, very easy to switch on and there's a button at the side. When it switches on you'll get an option of what, what video quality you want to shoot at or whether or not you want to use it as a still camera. Then when you want to shoot the video, just point it at the subject, press the big red button in the middle and it'll start recording. And as you see, for the person who's being interviewed or who you're videoing, there's a red light on the top. So the advantages of using the Kodak camera is number one, is it's very easy to use. Again, you've got the big red button in the middle, press to start recording and press to stop recording. The other thing is that as well as taking video, you can use the Kodak camera to take photos as well. The other thing with the Kodak camera is on the side, you've got a microphone socket where you can plug a microphone straight in. The thing with the Kodak camera is it really is technology in the pocket. You can just put this in your pocket and take it anywhere. And because it's so small, it's not intimidating when you're interviewing people. And if you're not very steady holding the camera, you'll notice there is a connector for a tripod at the bottom. So the camera uses standard SD cards, so if you want to put more memory in there, it's quite simple. And then finally, when you want to connect your camera to the computer and copy your videos over, all you do is slide out the USB connection at the bottom and then plug it into your computer. I guess some of the disadvantages of this Kodak camera is that because it gives you so many options, sometimes it can be a bit more complicated. You don't just switch it on and then start recording, you've actually got a number of different options before you start, and that could put some people off. Whilst you can plug in a microphone to the Kodak camera, you can't actually plug in any headphones, so it's hard to monitor what you're recording. The other thing is that although it's great that you can plug in a microphone, we have had people who've gone out and recorded interviews and forgot to switch the microphone on and this was meant they've ended up with silent movies.